There goes uh, Crazy Barefoot Ted on his uniwheel thingy. It takes a human form in its perfect ideal running form and it adds a little bit of power that you can actually push like a skateboard or ride just the energy that stores up. But the feeling, you can kind of get an idea, right? Once you master the riding, you're, you're an angel. You're like flying. All right, good morning from Creel, Mexico. We're up high, about 7,500 feet. It's chilly this morning. We're gonna start the day off with a little bit of running, because that's, that's what we like to do. We like to run. Ain't that right, Michael? With cameras. This that, is our motley like crew of runners. <laughs> this is my favorite Wyoming guy right here. This is a George Strait shirt. I got at the Goodwill. Hi. Hey. They have some cute street dogs here in Creole. Look at this guy. His name's Oso. He looks like Chewbacca. What are you making, Celeste? I am making a little bird for this little man. Oh. Bye, Oso. Feels good to jog after a 15-hour car drive. Where are we headed, Michael? Up here. Yeah, up into the Valley of the Monks. It's beautiful. It reminds me a lot of Boulder. That's my man, Mike. I am so excited to be here right now. After the race was canceled two years ago, I was pretty bummed out. And I didn't know if I'd ever be able to come back. But uh, here I am, and I'm excited for the race, but I'm excited for so many other things as well. But I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how my body reacts to 50 miles. I've never run that far in my life. I think I can do it. Actually, I know I can do it. It's just gonna be hard. And uh, sometimes in life, you just gotta do some, do some hard things. Beautiful morning. All right, Michael, where are we going now? We are going to the Visadero. Get some gorditas <laughs> and check out our first view of the Barrancas del Cobra. It's a pretty spectacular view, you like it. Oh man, I remember this view from the last time. It is incredible. So beautiful. Is this for real? It's one of those views that literally just takes your breath away. You're like, whoa. And it kind of comes out of nowhere. You're driving along, you don't really see the open expanses, and then all of a sudden, pow! There you have it. That's what I'm talking about. Yogi, hi, what do you think of the view, Yogi? <laughs> Isn't it pretty? I have been waiting two years to get another one of these gorditos, and they're so good. I got the nopal, which is cactus and cheese. Tastes as good as I remember them. Mm -mm. Papas, champions, and a lot of love made this right here. Some of my favorite places to visit whenever I travel, wherever I am, doesn't matter the country, but markets, street markets, are by far always the most fun. They're lively, there's a lot of smiles, there's food, there's all sorts of weird trinkets. Markets are where it's at. So when did you start doing these things? The first trip we came to, to uh, Arike. I wanted to bring the kids something that wasn't plastic. It didn't need to be long lasting, but something, just a little gift. It's a pony for my wife. <laughs> she was like the banana man on Captain Kangaroo. Well, remember that, dear? <laughs> oh, you're too young for that. <laughs> Here we are in Bawichivo, <laughs> driving across the train tracks. <laughs> I love it. Any pickup truck in this land is fair game for jumping on and for taking for a ride. All right. We're 
here, San Isidro. Oh, that's a long drive from Phoenix. This is where we're gonna stay for the next two nights and do some running on the trails and chilling. And then we're gonna head down to Urique. We are passing around Satul Extra Nejo. The uh, this is the uh, the taste of Chihuahua. <laughs> if we're celebrating a little bit tonight, so the thinner blade than uh, the tequila down in uh, different areas, obviously of Mexico. This is such a crazy, beautiful sunset. <laughs> Woo, life is beautiful. It's like a, a beam of sunlight coming. I know. It's like Thank you, Mother Nature, for another spectacular show to end the day. I feel like I'm at some sort of like a summer camp and I'm getting to know all my campers better and all the people around me. I didn't know any of them at the beginning of this and we're slowly getting to know each other and this race is bringing us all together and that's what's really cool. I think that's what Micah really wanted. He wanted a race that brought people together to share and to love and to experience the beauty of the world. And here we are doing it. Yeah.